Praise God, I'm very happy to be here with you. And I am very happy that the Holy Spirit is with us and leads, guides, guards, and directs us. I was kind of concerned this week because I had a gentleman uh, say a word that so many churches now, full gospel churches, spirit-filled churches, do not recognize the presence of the Holy Spirit in their worship services, that there's no messages in tongues, there's no interpretation of tongues, and very little praying in the Holy Spirit. So I rebuke the sadness from me for that, and I pray that that all changes in these end days. Now today I rebuke the spirit of weariness off of my congregation and off of any of those and their congregations that are listening. We rebuke weariness in the name above all names, the name of Jesus. Now today I'm sharing about baggage, baggage. And you may say, this title is baggage, or you may ask. I thought the last one was bags. Well, rightly so, it was bags. But this message concerns baggage. It shows us how other people can try to load their baggage on us. Yikes. Okay. They use us to receive all of the weight of things that they have not properly handled in their own life. Isn't that something? Things they haven't repented of. Things they are insecure or insecure, I will say, insecure about. Things that they fear. Things that have held them back from walking out all God has for them. Things they haven't repented of is first. It holds them in a place of conviction and possibly confusion, you know. Being in sin, no matter how small it may seem to be, if not repented of quickly, may cause wrong decisions. Mm. Then they are coming to you with that piece of a large suitcase of unrepentance and wanting to shove it on you. Mm. Shove it on you. Titus 1 and 6 says, They profess to know God, but they are contradicting themselves by their works being detestable and disobedient and unfit for every good work. My, they continue in sin and refuse to repent. That kind of baggage. Others may come wanting you to make all their decisions for them. I'm sure everybody at some point in their life had felt that. That someone come and wanted, you know, wanted you to make all their decisions for them. Now that's heavy mind baggage. We have to be careful because that that puts that weight on our mind. You see, they are not praying and fasting and asking God to help them with direction in life. Proverbs sixteen and three says, "Roll your works to the Lord." And your plans will be established, see. This is one I personally pray over my children, their spouses, and various friends. Roll your works to the Lord. Mm. Glory to God. Or they are insecure. That is our second one. In all of their ways, we discussed Unrepentance, and now let's look at being insecure. What happens? James 1 and 8 says, A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Who never knowing what or how to do because they won't turn to God and submit. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. They're insecure, and their mind goes here and there and here and there because they will not submit to God. They want to build and run their lives themselves, okay? 
never calling on God. And when their life collapses, they want to pour it all on you. You must direct them to the Lord because he is their answer. He is their answer. Glory. Now, some may battle the horrible thing of fear. That's our third thing. Big baggage, big baggage. If you're not careful and not listening to the Lord, they can weigh you down with their despair. When a person gets into fear so much, they get into despair, you know, and everything. It's kind of a progressive thing. You have to be careful. And this is heavy heart baggage. We have to be careful because then that becomes heart baggage to us. We'd said that they could pour heavy mind baggage on us. Well, if we're not careful, they can pour heavy heart baggage on us. Mm, glory. Oh, man. So we want to pray and share with them <clears throat> Isaiah 41, 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, help you, uphold you with my righteous right hand. We direct them toward God and toward all his promises and how he loves them and how he provided grace, that abundant, steady power to go forward and receive salvation in Jesus. Ooh, unrepentance, insecurity, and fear can come together so deep in a person that it is no longer separate small suitcases. <laughs> I love this. It has become a giant trunk, and it can smash you when they try to make you carry it for them. Mm. Isn't that something? We have to listen to the Lord because it can, their things can become a giant trunk and it can smash you when they try to make you carry it for them. So please take each situation you have that comes along. Give the person to the Lord Ask the Lord to move and work and do in their life. Leave the person in the situation with him, the Lord. Leave them with the Lord. Proverbs 12, 25 tells us, Proverbs 12, 25, Care in the heart of man makes him depressed, but a good word makes him glad. Isn't that wonderful? A good word makes him us glad care in the heart means to carry the burdens of others that baggage that is not ours to carry we take on what should have been given to the lord to carry amen amen now matthew 11 verse 28 through 30 matthew 11 verse 28 through 30 says come to me capital m all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, the Lord. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Learn of me. This has been one of my prayers recently that I could learn about the Lord. His attributes, how he sees things, how he does things. Learn of me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. And you will find rest for your souls. See, when we come to the Lord and we bring these things and say, Father, I place these things at your feet, then we can find rest for us. See, and we, we're not weighted down our mind and our little heart. See, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light light we come to jesus and give him all these heavy burdens <laughs> this baggage that others have tried to put on us he says take his yoke let him control and relieve you of this in the name of jesus 
the name of Jesus. We can share things with people. Don't get me wrong. And the Lord can give us things to share with people. But ultimately, he is the answer in their life. When we give these people and their baggage to him, we can truly find rest for our soul and walk in Jesus' burden, which is light. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father, let us pray. Father, I just ask you this day, whoever hears this, that they will realize, first of all, Father, how much you love them and that you have a perfect plan and purpose for their life and that this life here is just a preparation for heaven that we prepare here, we serve you here, we witness to others here, so that our ultimate place is to step over Jordan and be with you, dear God. I praise you and thank you this day for all the ministers in my city, my state, and my nation who preach Jesus Christ as Savior. Oh, thank you, Lord, for them. Give them your strength, dear God. Give them your wisdom, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen.